All right, hey guys, how's it going? This is Mark from visualfactspro.com. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to add realistic gun effects, in this case, muzzle flashes, to your films in Premiere Pro. I'll play the trailer of the pack we are going to be using, but you can purchase the elements individually too. Alright, let's get started. So first of all, you know, bring in your footage into Premiere Pro and I'm going to create a new sequence. I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080. Aspect ratio to be square pixels 1. And I'm going to call this MCU muzzle flashes shot. I'm going to bring in my clip. I'm going to mute my clip. You are able to download this training footage from our website. I will have a link in the description. So let's play back the footage. All right, I'm gonna work with the first one. I am going to press on loop playback. If you don't see that, you can come in here and find it in one of these. So you press that and it's gonna loop your selected area. Mostly when you're editing a gun scene, you most of the time have to cut out some frames. As you can see in our case, I'm gonna cut out a frame there. I'm just gonna drag one frame back. That's slightly better, but I'm going to cut one more frame around here. I'm just gonna bring that there. That looks much better. All right, once I've done that, I have the packs I'm going to be using here. I have the Hollywood Muzzle Flashes Pistol Pack, the 4K version, the Gunsmoke Pack, the 4K version. I also have the free Bullet Shells Pack. You can purchase them within a bundle or individually. The link's gonna be in the description. All right, I'm going to bring in an angled muzzle flash. Let's see this one. I'll use angle 10. I'm gonna come to the part where I want the muzzle flash to happen, typically before the hit back of the gun. Then what you can do, you might have to scale it down. If you press on motion, when you scale it down, you are able to move it around freely. So I'm gonna put it around there, that should work. I'm actually going to move this up three times, you will see why. And I'm gonna change the blending mode to add, which in Premiere Pro is called Linear Dodge. There we go. I'm going to drag it one more time upwards and I'm going to press Ctrl and Y, press on video 4 and Ctrl and V to paste it there. Now you have both of these blended in. Next, I'm going to go to effects and type in Gaussian blur. I'm going to drag the effect onto the top layer, click on repeat edge pixels and blur it. And that creates a very nice blur effect. All right, so next what we're going to do is for this one frame we're gonna cut it out and I'm going to press on video number two and add the footage again as you can see I'm going to move this one up I'm going to click on the top layer and go into the masking options and mask around certain areas then I'm going to add another one And I'm going to add one last one for his head. All right, and now I'm going to change the blending mode to be linear dodge, so add. I'm going to feather all of the masks. Around 150 should work. And I'm going to reduce the opacity slightly to around 75. So we essentially just lay up our main subject you can reduce the opacity of certain masks, for example the background, and there's a before and after. Alright, after that we're going to add our gun smoke. So I'm going to go into angled and I'm going to scroll through which one I like. Then I'm going to set a in point around there, drag it in below our muzzle flash. I'm going to hide the muzzle flashes again. I'm going to go into effects and search for flip and I'm going to drag horizontal flip onto the gun smoke. I'm going to change its blending mode to be screen and slightly reduce the opacity to around 75 or maybe 
65, 50. Right, then I'm going to press on motion, move into position, maybe scale it up slightly, maybe 125, and then preview it. So what you want is have that initial punch, then the smoke to linger around. All right, let's have a look with the muzzle flashes, our lighting, and our gun smoke edit. All right, we have one more element missing, and that is our bullet shell. So I am using the free bullet shell, and in my case, I'm going to be using the nine millimeter one. You can check out the different angles and decide which one you are in need of. In my case, I'm going to be using the spinning angled one. I'm going to set the in and out point. I want mine to start here. So I'm gonna drag that in below the gun smoke then disable the top layers. I'm going to again go into effects and flip it horizontally. Then go into effects controls and scale it down. In my case, maybe around eight works. Press on motion and drag it where it would be coming out from the gun. That works quite well. Then I'm going to search for fast blur and I'm gonna increase the value quite a bit, maybe around 50. And I'm going to check on repeat edge pixels. All right, next we're going to toggle on animation for position. And I'm going to go to the next frame and move it upwards. Then go to the next frame, move it upwards. And the next frame and slightly animate it going out of frame. All right, and this is what it looks like at the moment. There is no option to add motion blur in Premiere Pro. So what I found best to use for this particular effect is directional blur. Drag it on top. Then you want to increase the blur length to be around 180, 200 as it's moving quite fast. Then you want to change the direction blur to match in which direction it's going to. Then toggle on animation for direction and slowly change the direction based on which way your bullet is going. That's what it looks like in mine. I might make the size of this slightly smaller, maybe scale 7. Then I'm going to bring back all the other layers I disabled and have a look at the final result. Alright, and that's the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to check out visualfxpro.com and if you're interested in the pack, there is a discount code 15% off for the first 100 people to buy the pack. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and please subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you.